how to build a sales pipeline like the one you see right now. So the first thing you need to do is to use a sales pipeline software. Don't do the mistake, guys, of using Google Spreadsheets or Notion as your CRM. Trust me, I've been there. It's going to be a terrible mistake because the more customers you will have, the more partnerships, affiliates you will have, the worse it's going to be if you have many different email interactions, LinkedIn interactions with them over time because this kind of softwares, they don't track, they don't auto-sync conversations with your leads. So use a sales pipeline software. Here I'm using Brad Cole. And to create a new pipeline, I'm going to click on this plus button right there. And from there, I had the choice between starting from scratch and picking a template. So in my case, I'm going to click on picking a template. I will advise to always use a sales pipeline template because you have so much of them adapted to your business, whether you are a real estate agent, a digital marketing agency, a web free startup or whatever, everything can be then adapted, but as at least you would have won, like you would have saved like 80% of the time by using uh, such templates. So here I'm going to take the lead generation sales pipeline template, and I'm going to click on use this template. All right, now the template has been created. The sales pipeline is technically built, but it's not finished because we still have a lot of things to do. And so you see here, I have different sales pipeline stages. And this is very important because each sales pipeline stages gonna repre represent um, where your customer, your prospect is in his customer journey. So you see it goes from cold to engage to LinkedIn invite send all the way up to ghosted, discovery call, no show, sales call to deal one. And you see in each sales pipeline stages, you have a percentage, a chance of closing the deal. So this is very important and it's something that you need to set up when you use your sales pipeline. So what we're gonna do together is that we're gonna add someone to uh, this pipeline. So we're gonna add this guy here like Govin. So I'm gonna say, okay, this guy is in the pipeline we've created. And within the pipeline, we gonna put him uh, in the, let's say like in the call phase. So now we're gonna go back to uh, the, the pipeline we've just created. And as you can see on the top right, I have $0 in my pipe and I have $0 in close. But if I move Govind from cold to engaged, you can see that now I have $50 in my pipe, in my pipeline. This is what a sales pipeline is all about, guys, is to estimate how much you're going to close from your own experience with the customer journey of your lead. So let me explain. So you see here, I have Govin, he's worth $1,000. And inside the engaged sales pipeline stage, I have 5% from my own experience. I have said that Govin has 5% of becoming a customer uh, when people are in that sales pipeline stage. That's why I have 50 dollars in the pipe because it's five percent of one thousand dollars now if we go even further like you see um i'm gonna take him to interested and now the pipe amount is bigger and it goes bigger and bigger uh, all the way up to deal one and boom we have confetti <laughs> we've closed the deal uh and so this is how it works to have a sales pipeline and to set up a sales pipeline so once you've built your sales pipeline using a template, your role is to adapt it, to tweak it a little bit to reflect um, the likelihood of closing the deal so that you can estimate if you're going to close deals over time and how much you have in your pipe and how much you've closed. That's pretty much from A to Z what a sale, how to build a sales pipeline.
So make sure to use BrackCall.com for that. Talk to you soon. Bye.